today on hard mode backwards. Uh oh guys. It's a hill. Oh no. It's a hill. I can't climb it. I'm in a Kenworth. Oh no. Alright, so now we're gonna do something dumb. We're going to try and do six of these. This is totally fine. Nothing to see here. Okay, welcome back. We're uh, doing some logs. A little change of pace finally. We're not doing water. I'm actually happy to be starting with logs. So yeah, we're just loading up our five sets of short logs. I'm gonna go and deliver these, I think. And then we're gonna hop back over here and I think I think we can finish today on this side. Sort of. Kinda sorta. We're not quite done with this side, but... Gotta come back for mediums, gotta come back for all the planks and stuff. We'll figure it out. Okay, so before we take off with this, I wanted to take a peek. We have over here. Okay, so the first one requires short logs at the second house. So yeah, that gateway is pretty far. This gateway is the right gateway. We just have to figure out how to get there. So there's there's also this one, which requires three. I think well, we could do it backwards. We could come down this way, through here, do this, do the fourth house first, or three, come this way, and do the second house right here, and then. Go back around this way, hit fuel, come back up. Actually, we gotta hit we gotta hit fuel and go to the garage and reconfigure. Perfect. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do number two first. And we're gonna go here first. Okay. So we need to go this way. We moved a couple of vehicles around. I moved the, the fuel truck. Oh, actually, you know what we can do quick? Because uh, I did before we do that. No, we'll do that. We'll do that after. Do this first. I moved uh, the white Western Star. It's actually almost ready to do. Ooh. Need to place this so it's pinching these. Like that. <clears throat> um, I moved the White Western Star over, and it's pretty much ready to turn in that last overloaded cargo or oversized cargo. Figured it was kind of a boring short trip, and I just moved it over there when I was moving stuff around. And then we just gotta drive that back to the lumber mill. So yeah, we'll do this, we'll do that. Um, we'll drive that back over to the sawmill here. And then we have the hay bales to do. And the two water booms 
to finish. And then I think we're done over here with the exception of bringing the burnt logs back over here. Then grabbing a set of mediums and then delivering wood. So maybe two episodes? I don't know. I still think it's going to be... We might stretch this into three. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how long this, this wood delivery takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hold on. Easier to count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yep. That's what we need. Five sets. Luckily, we can do these out of order. Imagine if one was locked behind the other. <laughs> go get two, and go get three again. There you go. Or have multiple log vehicles. It would, it would fit this region, that's for sure. We are getting um, pretty dangerously low on fuel. I took the other GMC that was over here, and it's at the garage because I brought it, brought the AMK fuel truck over here, and just stole all of its fuel, and then sent it back to the garage. So if I do need to, for some reason, bring a fuel truck back or go get fuel, it'll be the A and K, but... Okay, we're loose. Okay. I think we'll be okay. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We are prepping for the end, though. Um, like I said, it'll be soon. And then... Then I'll have to cough. Um, I'm thinking... I'm leaning, I was thinking about my decision of what I'm going to do for Season 13 stuff, and I, I still think I'm going to do Season 13 on stream just when I, when I do streams. Whether I do more of them or less of them, we'll see. Um, I'm going to stick to my normal schedule, obviously, but if there's a few extra here and there, maybe... But I think I'm just going to jump right into Season 8 right away with this save. We're going to take this save just immediately, so whatever the next day is, is going to be the start of Season 8. We're not going to do a stream like we normally do for the start of the season, because we are going to be streaming Season 13 until Season 13 is done. And then we might continue doing... My thought is, is I kind of want to do Season 13 by myself. <coughs> um... Just so I can, like, experience all of the tasks of it. I don't want to, like, have multiplayer turned on and then multiplayer kind of, like, screwing things up. Or in the case of me missing things, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to miss out. I would like to experience all of the tasks that are to be had for the new season. But then once that's done, which I have a feeling it's going to be relatively quick, we might do, like, other people's Season 13s, like I'll come and help them, or we'll do multiplayers of whatever. Because supposedly, supposedly, multiplayer is going to be fixed. So, 
again this is pre-recorded because i'm trying to finish this so i can get into season eight but uh we'll see i guess we'll see what happens third house i haven't been this way i have not been through this crossing Fourth house. So yeah, hopefully, uh, at least, at very least, I sincerely hope that they fix the ability to freaking fuel your trucks in multiplayer because you just can't. Like, there's many situations where you just can't refuel your truck as a as a person joining another multiplayer person's game and if they fix that then like i said it would be probably fine there's some weird bugs with like winching like if if the other person is in the vehicle the winch turns into like a rubber band and just snaps so you have to like tell them to go into the garage like, leave the vehicle so I can winch your truck. Well, all the drive. Uh oh, guys. It's a hill. Oh no, it's a hill. I can't climb it. I'm in a Kenworth. Oh no. I know, I'm a jerk. Little bit of a tilty path there. We'll have to remember that if we come through with like the white western star or something. Depending on which way we come through with stuff. This loop seems pretty good though. Because it'll end us right by the garage, and like I said, when we're done delivering the wood, we're done. Like, that's, that's my plan, is to have the medium and long planks be the last deliveries. Yeah, then we gotta take this, convert it to mediums, take this over to the burnt logs. And then this is also going to go to the sawmill, where it's becoming a bit of a parking lot. Okay. So we need to, unfortunately, take all of these out. I missed completely. Am I gonna am I gonna get any of them today? We're not gonna get any logs out. That's that's what's gonna happen. There we go. <laughs> One. <laughs> Oh my god. It's the first few that are always kind of a pain when they settle in like this. Two ah uh, ah. Uh. Who remembers that?
I'm gonna load these back up. Yeah, okay, three go here. Two go to the other one. Okay, to save you the pain of me doing this for 10 minutes, I'm just gonna speed this part up. Be back in a minute. Okay, I am not doing great at this today. <laughs> there we go. Finally got two. Feel like it's just been one at a time the whole time. Okay. Set that there. And then I just want to... Swap to the other one this one and we need to make a path to the second house I guess we can probably go this way just continue forward like so to that house yeah I like that path it works out nice so yeah, what we'll do is we'll we'll get this turned in, we'll get this swapped. I'm not gonna do the mediums today. We'll probably do the burnt logs in the next one. I guess it sort of depends on how far we get. Who the heck is that our front door? It's a weird time to be at the front door. It's quite early in the morning. Yeah, it's, it's, it's literally like 5.30 in the morning. Somebody just like left a bag at my front door. Maybe it's a bag of poop. They're mad at me. I feel like... Not, you know, not that I want it to happen, but if it, if it ever did happen where somebody like left a bag of turds on my, on my front door... I don't know if I would be mad. Like the first time, right? Like... I think I might actually laugh a little bit. <laughs> like somebody somebody put a bag of poop on my door. Now mind you, if if it kept happening, right, right, I would be perturbed. I'd be sending my ring, you know, doorbell footage to uh authorities. But yeah, that, that first time, I'd probably be like, it finally happened. Great. Somebody, somebody left a bag of shit at my door. Because, you know, poop jokes are funny. 
Let's see if I can take three out and put three back in. <laughs> That's all I have to do here. Let's see if I can do it in more than six crane movements. Or, I'm sorry, less than six crane movements. I kept dropping them, too. I would, like, pick one up and then it would fall. It was getting kind of annoying. There's Barky Boys at all these houses. Bork clock over here. Doesn't look like it so far. Can we get two here? Oh no, we don't even need two here. We need one. I'm just bad at the crane today. Deliver. Alright. Work with me here. You two. You're my only hope. Okay, so now it should be, yep, medium and long for that one, and medium and long for that one. So that's it. We're, we're set up. Oh, no, we still need one medium log. That one. Yeah, we need a medium log yet. Okay, that's okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hop in the White Western Star because it's like right here. We're going to swap to this one. Finish this guy. And we got to drive it back. Which we can do actually in between. We'll do our setup in between. Okay, so that's done. I didn't shut this off. I did shut it off. Okay, um, Freightliner. Let's do you. Let's do the water booms. Okay, so what we need to do with this guy is take it to the warehouse. Gonna just activate five. I get to the warehouse, pick up a cabin and a metal roll. So we already have three, but we need another metal roll for the last one. And we're gonna go in here, deliver that. Basically be down to one metal roll. That goes over here. So this guy, it's unfortunate, like I said, I wish I could have carried something a little bit extra on that one, but we were already overloaded coming to this one, so I was like, eh. I don't think adding a metal roll would have been beneficial there. It was already a sketchy trip when we took the CT681 over there, so. And we gotta take this back to the sawmill as well. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of things coming to the sawmill. To prep for the end. So maybe we can, if I do enough prep, I guess I might be able to get it done in the next one, maybe. 
So maybe, 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 maybe Friday will be season eight. Uh, but otherwise, it'll be Monday. That's my guess. And then uh, we gotta buy our K700 back. Which, uh, yeah, we're at 714,000, so we'll probably be at like 730, 740 by the end, I'm guessing, after miscellaneous. And then we gotta pay, you know, 70k, 80k to transfer everything eventually. We're not gonna transfer everything right away, but we definitely don't get nine vehicles in uh, season eight. I guess I don't know how many we get the pike that's the only one that matters season 8 gives us the pike and we already got the k700 so we don't get that we have to buy it um, we get the k7m and then I think we get like another something Voron taiga oh we already got the taiga duh we got the taiga that we are using it's one of our taigas it was part of the uh, hard mode start. There's a Tuz here too, or there I think too, like a Tuz 166 or something. Little baby scout. Uh, except I need to be off the thing again. Okay, so let's back up. I need to be able to pick up a Metal rolls out of that little red spot. Cabin. Trailer. Metal rolls, and we have one left. Give this guy a new hat. I'd like you to turn a little bit. That would be nice. Perfect. That actually pinched. I guess it kind of is. Okay. So yeah, this will this load will uh, lighten significantly because it's gonna be the whole trailer, and then I just need to pack this one metal roll on on the trailer. But uh, that's okay. Like I said I could have done it differently, but I feel like the way that I did it was the least amount of trips, at least. And then we can take this little fuel trailer back with us if there's anything left in it. Because we are done up here. I know you don't like this thing, Rex, because you drive it, but it's not bad with the offer of gearbox. It's chilling in low plus like this, it's totally fine. I think if you let it go too fast is when it gets kind of tippy. But it's, it's no different than, like, uh, like I said, it's pretty similar to the White Western Star. Maybe a little bit more fuel consumption than the White Western Star. 
It's similar to like the HX520, the, the, the other international. Um, the maybe like the Brigadier. Pretty similar to the Brigadier. Because it uses about the same amount of fuel too. It's it's a little bit more fuel thirsty. It's still not like terrible though. It's it's an it is an 80 gallon truck, so it's like has a decent amount of fuel in it, which is nice. And it's just like everything else that doesn't have, you know. Repairs. I guess it's got a spare tire. Does it have a spare tire? Yeah, it's got a spare tire. So it's got that, but which is better than the CG681, ironically. That does not have a spare tire option at all. That is not my turn in. Okay, you go over here. And we got to activate the last one and finish our route. And we have plenty of fuel. This trailer is pretty close to empty, so we might end up just using it up on the way back to the sawmill, but that's okay. They like said we don't have many trips left. We just need, like, a little bit of fuel out of the fuel truck for each of the trucks to get back. And I think we'll be good. We st I think we filled... Probably three or four fuel trucks, too, during the course of this. Oh, that's right. This pass is really tippy. Uh, we want to find a winch point. Before we go over this, we want... Uh, I'm not going to be in range. There we go. The thing that here's the thing I'm going to like rebel a little bit on season nine. I really enjoy the scenery as always. I mean, I feel like I don't ever not enjoy the scenery of the game. Um, but it's like, yeah, we're going to be we're going to be using that up. That's OK. We'll take it with us and use it up. Like, the, this map is gorgeous. Um, and even, like, the burnt areas and that kind of thing are, like, really cool. Like, it's a really neat zone. It's just the, the flow of doing the work in these zones was... pretty bad. And, like, in all honesty, it was just not pleasant. There was a lot of unnecessary travel. A lot of going back and forth through the same routes. So it's just one of those things, you know, like I'm sure and there's not really any shortcuts. There isn't like good shortcuts anywhere. There might be a couple that I didn't find, but And like the the Albany River map has more variety in which way you can go, I think. Like, this has very fixed paths up hills and stuff. Like there's... I don't think there's any other way to get to this water boon. Or this watchtower. Like, you have to come through this path. No other way. So, yeah, pathing. It really, you know, what would have made this 
less terrible. I know it's only a two map region, but if there was another gas station and another uh, garage on this map, would have made it so much better. Then you wouldn't have to drive all the way, because like both gateways are on the complete opposite side of the first map. So no matter which way you're, which gateway you're coming from, you are in a very long trip that is the same trip, no matter which side, from one end to the other, you get back to the garage to reconfigure something or to get another truck or to go to the gas station to fill up your fuel. Like, it's just, it's so many trips back and forth. So that's my rant. <laughs> that's my rant for the day. I'm going to turn this thing around and get it over to the lumber mill after the episode. Okay. A chunk. Another useless water tower built. Alright, so now we're going to do something dumb. We're going to try and do six of these. This could be a bad idea. But we're still going to try. Hopefully this field isn't like muddy. Nope, it appears it is not. I was kind of hoping these ones were the ones we could pick up, but... They're all sorted in the same place, but no. Yeah, this is the way they gotta turn, like that. sure I picked that up from the bottom one. Yep. Somehow. Hopefully I can fit three in here. Otherwise this plan is not going to work. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> it really doesn't look like it. <laughs> up from the bottom again. Oh boy. That doesn't quite fit, does it? Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go back over this way, pick up these three. Now these should fit in nicely. This will go right here. Like that. This is going to be ridiculous. Oh, it's going to be freaking front heavy. There's going to be too much weight. This is going to be... I'm hoping I can... It should. It's not too high. I think you can go like three high before it doesn't transfer through gateways.
hopefully. That one in the front keeps it down. Okay, so... This is going all the way up top. This is gonna be so tippy. <laughs> Okay, there we are. Let's winch to the bottom of that one. Give this a pinch. Oh. Oh my god. It's already moving around. Go, go, Fleet Star. But like I said, it, 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 besides for this little spot right here, and like, the couple little like, muddy spots on the road, it's all road. And like, my biggest fear, <laughs> my biggest fear is that, that spot where you have to kind of like, dodge, and it tilts to the right. That's gonna be the most sketchy. Because we do have to pass that. I think what I might do... What I might do... Is... Like, unload the top one. Or use the top one as a ballast. That, actually, that's probably the best. We'll, we'll just winch it to the crane. And... Ballast it, like, way out to the left. So, so top heavy. <laughs> this is fine. This is totally fine. Nothing to see here. Front tires are like on, on the edge of coming off the ground. Okay, we're going too fast. Definitely going too fast. This is not a race. I think we'll be okay not getting fuel too. Because we're gonna go right past the fuel station, so. And then this truck we don't need. Because we can grab two medium planks with the... Well, we don't even need really two medium planks, but... Because there's one on the other map, too, but... So tippy. I know we took a screenshot already. I feel like this needs to be a screenshot just for fun. Just because I want it. Totally fine. We'll decide. That tilty spot is going to be so dangerous. <laughs> That's going to be so dangerous. We're doing it in like low minus. With everything on. Diff. All wheel drive. And this, this top one is going to be on the winch. 
and like as far as the crane can go to the left. And we're just gonna like drag it across the ground. Okay. Oh no, I lost one. Oh, that's bad. Um. Uh, okay. Uh. Change of plans. Nope. Okay, give me that one. I hope it's there. I don't want to reset this. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, I lost another one. It should be over there, though. Interesting turn of events. Okay, in case you decide to do this with a fleet star, just know that uh, it might not carry all of them over to the next map. This takes all of these over. You know what I should do is like winch to this top one, maybe. Let's see if that brings. Did I get all four? Uh, I did not. All right, so we need to we need to take more out is what it is. Okay, you come out. We're gonna pack these. Oh, that sucks! It turned them. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. There's one over here still. Is it right there? Okay. Not that I this episode this episode's gonna go over just a bit. It would have worked out fine, but... in there. Please, all three of you, stay in. Okay. 
It did. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to cut some parts out of the rest of the episode, it looks like. Might have to cut some travel. You might miss a little bit of random nonsense. It is just not wanting to bring this last one over. So we gotta do it the hard way. Yeah, I'll figure it out. We'll shorten this a little. I don't want it to be like an hour and 20 minutes long. Please. I only have one. Bring it over. Did it actually make it? It did. Okay. Now to load all of these again. Next. Yikers. Maybe that will be the screenshot. <laughs> and, you know, I could have done it with could have brought something back, done it with that, but then I gotta bring it all the way back. I figured if I do it with this, then this is done. I don't need to bring it back. Trip efficiency, guys, trips. Give a pinch, and we gotta find that guy. Give it a tug. Okay, <laughs> we're moving again. annoying doing six I mean I guess I didn't expect it to like drop all of them I said I've gone through gateways and berries and stuff with like three high metal beams and it doesn't lose any of them but
Yeah, we're just gonna go really slow. Like, really slow. And I'm gonna be cutting a bunch of travel out. You know, I was worried about the crane on that bridge, but... I didn't even think about the bridges. Okay, any minute now. We'll be, once we get past the roundabout here, we'll be, uh... Coming on the last and final challenge of this trip. The, <laughs> the tippy spot. Oh, there. Whoa. Whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Alright, so you are gonna go like almost to the point where I'm tipping over. And we might like stop during this and extend it further out. Like right when we get to the to the edge. I wonder if you could go over on the left side. Almost looks like you could, but it's like too bumpy. Okay. I'm up. And further out. Yeah, it's like, it's like almost tipping to the left. Which is sort of what I want. Maybe not that much. Maybe not quite that much. Just walk our way through this. Okay, now we need to bring this further out. Give us more ballast. Okay. Now less ballast. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> it's working. There you go. That's how you do that with a fleet star. Oops. Me, my bottom winch can. Oop, that's not. Okay. Onward. Oh, I can go a little faster, I guess. High safe, high feels safe. So there you go, guys. I said we're we're like one to two away. I'm going to say probably two. I have no idea how long the trip for the burnt logs is going to take. And then we got to load up and do a bunch of deliveries with long logs and kind of slow trucks through that spot that we took the, the uh, 
then we're through. So yeah, maybe, maybe two, maybe one, we'll see. I'm hitting the wrong button. I would like fuel, thank you. Uh, we gotta unload and load these again. Okay, well, on that note, I think this is where we're gonna leave it for the day. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll speed through this and uh, get this turned in. But as always, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you guys on the next one.